Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to our... Really? You're mad about Half Dan, the poor guy who is all injured up and trying to take care of this place all by himself? What jerks. Anyway, we're Gaming by Gaslight. We're continuing our Rim Viking playthrough. When we last left off, we had just taken out an enemy encampment, and yeah, now we're... Uh, Heading on home after spending a few days letting everyone recover and cook up some nice pemmican to keep us through the winter. Well, hopefully. Oh, also, while we were sitting around, I... What am I... Yeah, we tamed uh, a musk ox, who I have named Ox. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we've got. Keep forgetting I gotta actually hit exit. Can't just, uh... Oh, hello. Sheckley, a space refugee, a sickly and very neurotic individual who is going to bleed to death in six hours if we don't rescue her. I'm actually kind of shocked we have a place to rescue. I don't even think we're going to be able to get her home before she dies, but, uh, oh my god, did I actually get a plant a couple of uh, pine trees before it got too cold? Uh, what, what's happening? Okay, we got another quest. A Frumbo Chase. Interesting. Let's see. Sigdiarf of the Tatatosk clan has reports spotting a Frumbo nearby. While they don't plan on hunting the beast themselves, they're challenging you to hunt it. And we'll get some goodwill. Now, this does throw things off for us a little bit because uh, now that these guys are friendly, we have fewer raiding targets. I mean, we still got these guys. And if we really wanted a bit more of a challenge, well, it would take us like a hundred million years to get down here, unfortunately. But yeah, there's the uh, Tiger's Fort on the Pit. Could fight them. And they are hostile, so they're like definitely just a, a raider kingdom type group. Starvation. Oh, you're still rescuing Sheckley. Maybe I shouldn't have, uh... There's no way he gets her, uh... We had a rice plant growing? Uh, that... That always... It always haunts me, really. And she died right before we got her there. I'll let the dogs haul her away. Oh my god. It's just so... So terribly filthy in here. Poor Half Dan can't keep up with everything. I actually, um... I should limit him to the village, shouldn't I? Because he's so slow. If I have him going out here, he's just going... The poor guy's just gonna die. And by die, I mean he's not gonna get anything done. A lot of dirt lying around out... No, no. Well, yeah, that's... That's actual dirt. Of course it is. And it's, uh, yeah, it's getting cold again. In fact, it's getting so cold, I should probably allow these to be refueled. Oh, the lost catacomb. That sounds exciting. So we might even be able to, and it's on the way home. Lovely. So I'm going to trade with these guys, then these guys, and we're going to kind of see what we can get, if anything. And this should provide us with a little bit of excitement for the episode. So you know what? I'm going to fast forward to do all the trading because trading is not exciting to watch. And I will see you all shortly like. Okay, here we go. Arriving at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> what could go wrong? All right, so what are we looking at here? Let's see. Okay, so we're actually not the only ones here. There's only 12 humans. That's honestly not the worst that we could have uh, hoped for, to be honest with you. Figure we'll send Ox over to the corner, because as always, we don't want our animals getting hurt. And then we'll just uh, close on in here and hope for the best. Oh, but they've got dogs. 
That could be troublesome. It'd be great if you guys could uh, hit a little, you know, more accurately. Though, will the dogs actually come after us? That's the question. We destroyed its stomach. That's that's just inhumane, damn it. Okay. Now, the goal at the end of the day, of course, is to take out uh, these fellas. Oh, are you coming after me, dog? Don't do it. Okay, there we go. I don't want you to waste your ammo on the dogs. Alright, but again, there's only 12 of them, so if we can take out... If we can take out three of them before they get into uh, melee range... We should be okay. This is... This is gonna end poorly, isn't it? Derf, derf. Gosh darn it, focus on, uh... Oh, you're out of ammo. Never mind, you, uh, you have to melee. Okay, um, um, um... I like Ragnar and all this. Ragnar, get up front! Oh god, they're... Rollo's down? What the hell happened? Wait, what happened? You have, like, just a few bruises. That's not so bad. Oh, well, you did get hit by a harpoon. Admittingly, that could be kind of serious. All right, let's start pulling back if we can. <clears throat> oh, dear. Derf's gonna go down in a second. Please tell me it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not, not terrible. Let's, uh... Now, put some burdens on some of these people. Alright, Derf, just... Just fight. If you can. Probably gonna get hit by friendly fire and die. Because that's... That's how these things always... Are you out of ammo? God damn it, you're out of ammo. Our single best, uh... Hitter. Okay, we we did it. We completed the quest. I really hope we don't get uh, ambushed on the way home. Because that would be bad. You know, you should go ahead and... Uh, reserved by Sigurdsson. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Oh, right, you'll... That's, uh, that's a thing. They'll automatically... Uh, attempt to reload. If there, if there's ammo in uh, within like X number of tiles from them. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and claim all of this and all of this so we can deconstruct it, <laughs> and we will, I think. Try and. All right, maybe, maybe people will attempt to patch themselves up. How about you rescue Rollo instead? You can rescue Derf. Ragnar, you can, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about all that as we go along. All right, well. Okay, Ragnar, you've only got a handful of uh, arrows left, so... Do me a favor, if you if you feel the need to fight, yeah, do what Anos is doing, and, and same with you, Waldo. Fight with your fists. There we go. You can take their beer. I'm not gonna bother rescuing anyone. It's, uh, it's not worth it at this- Oh my god, we took off someone's head. Ooh. Oh, a bolt. We just bolted their head off. That's crazy. Anyway, might as well, uh, also see what- Why are you sleeping on the floor? Oh, Jesus H- Come on. No. What is your- Oh, and they're, uh... And we got random muscle parasites because God hates us, apparently. Stop walking over the goddamn traps, you morons. Don't- 
don't you do it. Primony. Do you have some good stats? I mean, cooking. Crypto bleed armor. What the heck is that? Experimental crypto tech from the armor slows down bleeding. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. Crypto armor. Oh nice, we... He fell, but then he got back up again. Alright, go ahead and equip that. Then let's get back to fighting. No, Waldo, you idiot. Get a melee attack in there. Don't you dare set that trap off and kill yourself and also Sigurdsson. Oh my goodness. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you guys aren't that incomp- Where the hell- What the god? Ragnar, you hit- What are you doing? I'll be honest with you, sometimes. Why? Why are you all pathing through that? In that immensely frustrating fashion. I mean, we've got to be able to... There's no way his armor is that good. I mean, apparently it is, but, uh... Alright, good for them. Come on, Ragnar. <laughs> How bad is it? Like, Howard Darf, you have nine hours. Uh, your well, the muscle parasites aren't helping anyone, but, uh... Oh, we took him down! We took him down! Let's, uh, strip him of his, uh, of his armor. How badly did we damage that armor? Ah, it's all the way down to 64. If only I could have taken him down sooner. And Sigurdsson, uh, rescue Eric. Rescue Ant. I don't care about the t All right, screw it. We'll just get everyone back onto the map. Never mind. <sighs> sometimes, man. Sometimes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't actually strip the guy yet. I want his armor. There we are. We have successfully stripped him. Now we can take his armor and we can head home. Ah, oh, boy. Sometimes, I tells you. Alright. Bring everything. Oh my goodness, we dropped a lot of our stuff. I don't know where that steel came from, so I'm not going to worry about it. I guess it was just lying around. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I mean, if it's made out of steel, I guess I might as well take it. Take the crypto axe, because that's obviously going to be handy. Light machine gun. Now we got to find that crypto armor. There it is. I only wish it had been in better condition. But, oh well, you know, you don't always get everything you want. Just gotta... We could take the Crypto Sleep Casket with us. You know what? I'm gonna do it. That could be handy. Anyway, we'll do a better job of patching everyone up here. So we'll we'll just rest for a bit. You know, make sure everyone's uh, nice and taken care of. And, you know what? Might as well spend a little bit of time with our old buddy, uh, Half Dan here. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, well, everyone actually got patched up already, so we can, we can get moving. That's kind of surprising. Or did everyone get patched up? Yeah, they did. That didn't take long. And so all the sad wandering and upsetness can happen over there. Good. wonder if these will ever grow. I'm not going to count on it. But, you know, one can dream. Stupid muscle parasites happening at the worst possible time. But, that's life. You know, sometimes you just end up uh, with stuff not going your way. Let's, let's make sure we've refueled so that everybody's bedrooms are nice and warm when they get in. Or at least, you know, not... Well, no, actually, this is able to get up to 28. Eh, heck, even here is pretty warm. You know what? Maybe I will get rid of all the wall sconces. 
I don't think they produce that much heat anyway, and they're just, uh, they're just burning good wood that we probably need for other things. Oh, God. All of that for, oh, dear. I'm sure they'll all recover from their various wanderings. Oh, no. One, two, f oh god. Half Dan is not equipped for- oh, wait, wait, wait. This could be my chance. This is Half Dan's chance to shine with the old steel mortar. Is he gonna send the psychic thing? He's gonna miss, and I'm gonna be really cheesed off, but, uh... You know what, that's, uh... Then again, this has a fairly large range, so as long as... Where the heck did they go? I mean, as long as it lit, Please tell me you didn't just fire it. You goddamn idiot! Oh. Oh, why? Oh well, you know what? Don't get angry, Gaslight. You did do it to yourself. You could have paused and picked a target, or you could have, you know, just clicked faster. At the end of the day, you brought it upon yourself. Wait, hang on a second. How come the AI can load stone chunks, but I can't? That seems kind of unfair. Oh, and you know what really sucks? He's only got a recurve bow. And he has no psychic powers, that's also pretty bad. If he had burden, I could at least slow them down. Is it possible they'll freeze to death? Oh god, there's more of them! Well, they do actually have hypothermia, so it's possible... ...that I could just hide uh, in here. Let's uh, have all the animals... ...go into the safe zone as well. If we can hold the line here until they either freeze to death or go away. Oh, they're gonna set my whole village on fire. It's gonna be terrible. Then again, if I all I need to do is throw one torch and set them on fire. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, I don't know, you know what? I get I get too uh too stressed out when it comes to the welfare of my colonists. I really shouldn't uh, let these things get to me. But I do. Because I, I hate seeing bad stuff happen to my colonists. I get too attached to them. It's just a game. But I can't help it. Oh, how I despise you. Get ready. And then just... That did nothing. And I am... Incredibly upset about it. Uh, let's also make sure you stay in the safe zone. That way, I can have you focus on... I wish I hadn't made this a steel door. Oh, he gave up. They are also shivering. Oh god, you don't have hypothermia. You have hypothermia, you don't. And you- oh dear. So only two of them. Don't- don't set my- No, don't- Okay, you're gonna set that on fire instead. Alright, I can- I can live with that. Aw, oh, come on. How are you hitting the wall scones? Stupid game logic. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is gonna be pretty not good. Oh dear. Half Dan, repair... <clears throat> Oh no, they're attacking the scones. Never mind. Okay. We're gonna wrap things up here and, uh... Yeah, there's no way they arrive in time. We're gonna need a miracle from Randy for this one to, uh, you know, not completely fall apart. But anyway, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below or let me know what you're thinking. I'll see all you in the next video.